Right here? Oh, never mind. I thought it said curtains. Um. What's up you guys so we are at lowe's me and my husband i don't know why is he taking putting his seatbelt on but anyways we just made it here and we're gonna take ghosts out so we used to do this a lot when he was younger this is us at nine weeks when he was nine weeks not us at nine weeks <laughs> when he was nine weeks old we used to take him a lot to the pet stores he just likes to walk around with mom and dad in the stores while we're shopping we also took him to walmart when he was a few months old as well if I'm not mistaken, I think he's about four months in this one. Take him around, you know, our little broke best friend. He gets to look at all the stuff. You know, most of the time we also buy him something while we're there. But today's different. Can I fetch you? Beautiful dog, man. Look, I was going to get all the junk food. I'm out of here. You have a nice day. We decided to take him to Lowe's today. I mean, we haven't taken him to the store in almost, almost two years. So like 18 months to two years. So we're like, well, let's just take him out. Normally, when we take him to the store, we take him to PetSmart and stuff like that for his doctor's appointments. But just roaming around a store like we used to do, um, just seeing people's reaction to him and letting him, you know, window shop and stuff that he obviously can't buy. Well, actually, he can because you guys are the reason why he has his own bank account. So, but yeah, just walking around the store, we're looking at some tiki, tiki torches for our backyard um trying to have a nice summer this summer and you know in texas out here with all these bugs we need something to protect us you know or make us feel a little bit more comfortable and not ate up in our backyard so that's what we're doing and ghost is accompanying us we're like we might as well just take him around because lowe's allows all dogs big or small in their store doesn't matter if they're a service dog or not you're allowed to bring your dogs into lowe's and home depot um, if I do this at Walmart, he has the same behavior. He's good. He'll sniff around and sniff a few things, but he normally is well-behaved and he minds his own business. So this is my husband just walking ghosts around and yeah, just catching a feel. We're also looking for some curtains for our porch to block out the sun because we have these like built-in fans on our patio deck. So we're just trying to make our backyard a little bit more comfortable for us and, and our four kids and obviously goes. <laughs> but yeah, just keep watching the video. We're just going to take them around. Let's see some reactions. One thing about Ghost is that he loves interaction. Don't be smacking my baby's butt like that. But yeah, you seen his tail wagging a little bit? He likes getting attention. He doesn't really care too much about strangers though, I'm not gonna lie. He's like stranger danger, but he'll still interact. He likes kids more than adults, to be honest. So when kids are around, yeah, he's loving it. He even likes to play with kids when my 
kids have sleepovers or we go somewhere where there's a bunch of kids. He wants to be around the kids. He's like, I don't want to be around these adults. They're boring. But anyways, we're just walking around Lowe's, checking out some things. I need to pick up a water filter for the refrigerator. I need to pick up um, an air filter for our air conditioning vents at home. And here is another reaction. You can see how well behaved he is. I do not recommend you putting your hand in front of a dog's face like that. Well, at least he allowed ghosts to smell him instead of reaching to, you know, pet him. So I respect that. But any big dog that you don't know, I don't recommend doing that unless it's okay with the owner. And Ghost is well behaved. So I gave him, you know, the okay that it's okay for him to smell you. But as long as he didn't reach in for, you know, to pet his head or to touch him in any, any kind of way to break his, you know, his boundary. Because Ghost has boundaries as well. I don't know if you know this about your dog, but my dog sets boundaries for strangers. <laughs> I'm only holding him this close in the store um, because other people are afraid and, they, and that makes them feel a little bit more secure. I don't have to pull too much on it, um, but if I let his leash go and allow him to walk a little bit more freely, I notice that a lot of people walk around him or get, a, get away from him, you know what I mean? But that's pretty much it. We got everything we needed from Lowe's. I'm, pushing the cart and recording and my husband is obviously walking to the car and yeah all I could say was a good day we had a good time ghost was able to come out see people see new things look around he obviously had to pee before we left on the way but that was pretty much it <laughs>